hello. Who's there? Christ, it's just a little girl. Just a child? You couldn't tell from the silhouette? Come on. <laughs> and you are, apparently? You know, Sunday clothes. <laughs> Whatever the hell this getup is. Where'd she go? Oh, son of a bitch. I said there was no giant angels in here. God, everyone seems to be clamoring for these eyes of the world. Well, I will have none of it! Okay, boss by Dryan freaking Dragon Man, and uh, we actually dodged that. Okay, I'll take it. Oh god, okay, things are getting a little bit crazy already. Bastard. Ow! Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Oh god. And watch out for it. Got it. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone in the world who is ready for that quick time event the first time they play the game. Not a single person in the freaking world. Yeah, instant death quick time events are a thing you're going to be seeing throughout this game, and they're really, really, really bullshit. Uh, that one is uh, the first of many. Ugh, they suck. But hey, that's the end of the level. One thing you might be noticing, by the way, is these medals, we're actually missing some of the medals. That's because this game, and practically every Platinum game, has missing fights. So, uh, a lot of the time, when you do a fight, you need to backtrack and find a new fight that has spawned somewhere other, uh, somewhere else in the level. It's a hidden fight. I can't, for the life of me, understand why that's a thing. And I hate it in Bayonetta, I hate it in Metal Gear Rising, and I hate it in this. I think it's super, super dumb, and I think the fact that you're penalized for not knowing where all of them are is just stupid. Oh well. Hey, that's three golds in a row, so we're doing something right. Okay, time for me to uh, blow uh, blow all of my bullets on this. Damn it. Again, it's a complete waste if you're not aiming for uh, aiming for uh, headshots. Okay, we actually got that guy. Nice. Uh, oh my god, that I can't hit that guy. <laughs> Why not even try? Okay, what the hell? I I tried I tried to lead him and it wasn't enough and then I tried to fire directly onto him and that also wasn't enough. So what the hell? Still 6000 halos, I'll take it. We are actually racking them up quite quickly. No oh, jeez. Um <laughs> The whole city's on fire. The burning ground. Oh jeez. Okay, I don't believe we actually have anything to do in Rodan's shop right now uh, at the Gates of Hell, so let's just uh, let's not keep on keeping on. Um, 
You're very welcome. <laughs> no quarrel. You're in no position to decide that. See, my infernal. I like how he totally was like, oh, I'm sorry, this is a misunderstanding. I'll just leave it be. <laughs> and I was like, fuck that. I live for this. No, well, he just fucked right off. Oh god. I should have heeded the warning of the chapter name. Oh my god. Okay, things went to shit real quick. Okay, welcome to the gates of hell. Rotan's opening shop in Vagrant now. Okay, so these uh these fire guys are now uh yeah, they're riddled around the city and again, the annoying thing about fire guys is that yeah, they fucking they're really annoying because you can't actually hit the fire guys uh with regular melee attacks cuz they just straight up they are negated essentially. So uh, basically what you have to do is you have to use your pistols to uh, or your guns to actually damage them or activate witch time. As soon as you activate witch time, uh, the fire the fire actually goes away. So uh, or we could still get hit even after that. So where the game starts getting a little bit bullshit. First with that first quick time thing and and now with these enemies and honestly I hate this mechanic of oh yeah, you can't hit the fire guys. It just is really really annoying, especially since Every time you use a pistol attack, you you get sent flying a little bit forward. So there's almost like nothing you can do to actually stop getting hit uh, by the fire. One thing we could do is we could actually look and see. See, like even even when I aim that thing, like it it didn't actually matter. Like we weren't able to actually aim that. There we go. Yeah, those fire guys suck. I really, really don't like that enemy type. Thankfully, I don't recall you ever seeing them that much. Um, obviously, though, with that one metal that lets you uh, activate Witch Time upon getting hit would be probably really, really good because Witch Time disables their their fire ability for a brief moment. Uh, one thing to note, by the way, about chests is even though we've already been in this exact area, I'm pretty sure this exact same room even uh, uh, just because it's a brand new chapter means that it's free game so uh, all the uh, their chests have new locations now and stuff so if you checked a corner in a previous level and then you come back to the same room later that doesn't mean that the chest is is already collected like it, it probably if anything it means that they probably put another chest in the same place so if you're in a different chapter it's a different different level entirely so just keep that in mind because uh, in Bayonetta 1, you, you go back to the same levels actually fairly frequently. Albeit with, obviously, this entire level has been changed. And it's on fire, and it has a really, really shitty lava texture chasing you. See you later, asshole. <laughs> oh, okay, this is really, really bad timing. Could you please let me go? Oh my god. That was... That was almost no fault of my own. The camera... The camera was completely facing the wrong way. And here's a screen you're going to be seeing a million times on your first playthrough. As well as hearing that over and over and over and over again. So because we just died, we can pretty much say hello to our stone reward. Because if you die, your, your, your rank at the end of the level is just shit immediately. So that, that's why most of the time you're just not going to... You're not gonna have a, a good a good time in your first playthrough. We actually dodged that. Thank God. 
Okay, we actually got no damage, and is that still coming, or? Did that stop? Okay, it looks like it stopped. Is there anything over here? Nothing over here. I don't know what's going on right there, but apparently it stopped, so we're, we're fine. Oh, shit. Okay, second sphere, fairness. Doggo! <laughs> I should be calling all the- oh shit! Okay, again, a dick move where he fired a fireball in the cutscene, and here we go in the actual gameplay. There we go. Okay, let's switch to our sword. Oh my god, he's on fire. Wait, no he's not. It's hard to tell. Oh god. See, he's on fire, but he's not, because we can attack him no problem. Oh my god, I love the Wicked Weave sword attacks, they're so cool. There we go. That was definitely not uh, not a good score right there. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Oh, we get a gold LP. Oh, half of a gold LP. Okay. So yeah, I mentioned uh, <laughs> spilled the beans a little bit earlier, but not all gold. We got a platinum for that, even though we only got hit once. Okay, I thought we got hit more than once. Anyway, so yeah, the game isn't going to be nice. It's not going to hand us these uh, these gold LPs on a silver platter anymore. Now we're going to actually have to work for it. Because uh, gold, gold LPs are split up into multiple segments. And to get the weapon, you need to find all of them. And yes, a lot of them are off the beaten path. So yeah, we're not going to be able to find every weapon in the game. I promise you that. Uh, especially since I don't really plan on using any of them. Because there's really only... There's really only a, one other weapon in the game that I have my eyes set on. The eyes of the world uh, are set on. And uh, that one is, is so stupid fun, I can't help but use it. So uh, hopefully uh, hopefully it pops up uh, soon. I mean, I know when it when it's going to pop up, so don't don't you worry. We'll, we'll deal with it in a bit. Anyway, so uh, I guess we're going through there. So I'm kind of curious what's down there. But first... Let's actually stop by Rodan's shop just to see if we can uh, buy anything. Take care of my babies, will you? Some people may have a thing for the 45s, but to me, these are the real works of art. Okay, back in Rodan's shop, and uh, we actually have. No, we actually don't have that much. <laughs> we actually don't have that much. Uh, we could buy another Witch Heart. Um. In fact, we could buy another Witch Heart. Or we could just keep saving up. Hmm. Oh, Midair Air Dodge. You know what, actually? That'd probably be good to have. I'm going to buy that just to be safe. Um, Break Dance. Movement's possible. You know what? Sure. Let's buy that too, actually. You know what? Let's actually buy this too. Screw it. There we go. There, we actually just got a, a fair bit of uh, more health right there, and the Witch Heart still only costs 30000 right now, so there. We actually just spent all our money. Again, these these accessories aren't really required, and even if... even even They won't even be that useful towards until the, the end of the game where enemies are going to start being really, really mean to us. So uh, for now, we might as well just get the essentials. Okay, back in burning Paris, <laughs> we'll call it. Um... <laughs> Kill it, floor. And uh, let's see what's down here, because I guarantee you there's a chest or something. I mean, there's got to be something. Why would they let you go down here if there's nothing? Really? Really? Oh, it really seems like there's nothing. Okay. Kind of disappointing. Even, even up above? Oh my god, there's something there. There's actually something there. Wow. Damn. Well hidden, game. Yeah, surprisingly vertical uh, hidden secrets in this game because your jump is enormous because not only can you double jump and it's enormous, but you can also wall jump at the same time, so you can go really, really high. Defeat all the angels using only angel arms. That's actually really easy. Please, give me the easy ones. <laughs> I'll do them, no problem. Whoops. Oh, 
Oh, I see. It actually spawns the same one on no matter uh, what side of the arena you're on. So you, that's kind of cool. You can kind of like pick and choose which ones you like. Okay, so these guys go down no problem to the breakdance attack. So let's do that. There we go. And a giant fucking sword, because why not? Whoops. Oh my god. <laughs> we had two minutes left. See, some of them are too easy and some of them are too hard. What the hell? And we also got an Umbran Tears of Blood, which I know I said are uh, kind of like a stray bead kind of collectible. But uh, they al also act... Wait, what? Didn't? What? I thought we bought one. Didn't we just buy one? Um, weird, okay. I don't know what's up with that, because I'm pretty sure we, we, okay, I don't know what just happened. Anyway, um, that actually, uh, that one was really easy, holy crap. <laughs> you know, back, back in the burning city, though, as it, it, amazing as Alfheim looks, um, unfortunately we're back in this nightmare hole. So, to get through this uh, fire spurt, we're actually going to have to use our witch powers again, which that backfired horribly. Let's try that again. Okay. Wait for the fire to pass. There we go. Sweet. Um. Oh god, it's not the goop again. What is with... What is with that right now? Okay. Okay, what the hell is going on? Whoa, trippy. Oh god, is that lava rising? It's hard to tell, but I actually don't think it is. What is going on right now? Murdered. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so this is a kind of a pain in the ass just because the the constantly changing camera is a little bit awkward, and obviously uh, these guys are going to be chasing us uh, all throughout this area. Also, it, it, it I don't know, it's just really worrying every time you jump onto one of those rock platforms. It's like, is this really a good idea? But yeah, it's actually what you do. There we go. Like how does how is Bayonetta feeling right now? Like with like her face right next to that lava pool. Oh god, and the goop is here too. It never ends, it never ends, it never ends. God, there's so many insane camera angles in this game. Um Oh god, I didn't even know that one was coming, that was close. Okay, sweet. Pure platinum on our running section. Oh, that makes me feel good. <laughs> Usually those are pretty bullshit. And nothing on the side either, so that's not, that's not too bad. Wow, we almost can clear that building. How about the Amber Witches? Oh, too bad. If it's not in cutscene form, I don't want anything to do with it. Also, we can kind of see lava through there for some reason. I feel like there'd be a chest around here somewhere, but I don't know, maybe we should just get on with it. This game's not short. God. Oh, two of them? Two! Okay, let's... Shit! Okay, he really goes for you quick. Nice, there we go. Oh, come on. Ow. 
Oh my god, he, like... The speed at which these guys attack is so much faster than the other enemies we've had to deal with so far. Oh my, he attacked me in mid-air? Holy shit. Oh my god, we are getting absolutely eviscerated by these guys. Are you fucking kidding me right now? There we go, Jesus Christ. Those enemies fucking suck. Oh god. What now? Nice shot. <laughs> Whoa! 